Good evening YouTube, it is um, 10 minutes to midnight, uh, we've just seen our third show of day one, uh, this was, well it was, I think it was my choice, we weren't quite sure who would really come with the idea. I think I might have spotted it and told yeah. you about it. Uh, and this was the history of electronic music, uh, comedy, music, stand-up. Really, what the hell was this music? And who the shit biscuits were the prodigy? Why was there a demented cat on my tape? Why did I love it? Meanwhile, in the kitchen, mum was listening to Radio 2 while boiling all the vitamins out of the cabbage. Why do we need to tweak it like a digital nipple? A digital nipple on the bosom of the goddess of music. A goddess who lactates BPMs. Rhythmic tip mill. I've gone too far, I've gone too far. <laughs> Simply put, we humans can't help it, it's rhythm. No other animal on this planet dances without being told to, but we do. Tiny children dance. Kids have a terrible taste in music, but they dance without being told to. Tonight, I'm going to look at where it all started. We're going to go back around 40,000 years to where musical instruments started, and we're going to spend a disproportionate amount of time looking at the last 30 years to find out how did I get to the music on that mixtape. Uh, Vinny, a comedian stroke DJ, uses a sampler truck to a sampler to travel back through time, raising the hairs on your back of your neck. Who What Stolen Samples is used on 30,000 tracks and why didn't anyone get paid for it? That is an important point, isn't it, when it comes to it, yeah. How did electronic music start? What's a bone flute? Sound rude? Uh, you've got a dirty mind, you filthy bag. Okay, that's slightly... Um, yeah, I think this laugh out loud, fascinating stories and samples, uh, all with a rush of rage and nostalgia. Excellent, just excellent. Fat Boy Slim Brighton Festival. Okay, I think that was a quote. Yeah. Um, the first thing I want to say is I did think some of the humour was slightly. Uh, how can I describe it? Um, below par. I didn't like that about it no. at all. But let's. Yeah. I don't think we should detract. We'd, no. Um, from, from the main body of it. But no, I personally could have done without all of that. But it's obviously sold. I mean, it is in the comedy section. It is so, in the comedy section. Yeah. So, which yeah. I was surprised at. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's put that aside. And I mean, I I enjoyed it. I mean, it was it was fifty minutes. Um, I did. I, we actually spoke to Vinny at the end, and he said, "Did you did I learn very much?" And the answer is no. I didn't learn very much. I learned a couple of things, but I found it a very entertaining fifty minutes. Um, you know, so I I, I did enjoy. Um, mm, I mean, it's more it's much more important good. because you didn't know some of the stuff that that. Um, I didn't know some of the stuff. I didn't know 90% okay. of the stuff. It's much, so it's much more important what you I, thought about I, it to some extent. I mean, as I said to Vinnie afterwards, I am not your demographic with bells on. But having said that, because I take an interest in electronic music, you know, through you, mm -hmm. I mean, I had heard of some of the names. Um, I mean, I, I enjoyed the historical sort of... Um, aspect in the sense that he you know he did he had done his research mm -hmm. and he said you know the first recorded sort of musical instrument is this mm -hmm. you know and then he took it through and I mean he meant you know he did take it through um, history I mean he um, didn't cover everything no, because I think that's quite no. difficult to do anyway but but, but you, he, know. you know he didn't just go from that in you know the the bone flute mm. through to you know, I don't know, the guitar. I mean, he, he did try and sort of slot bits in, in between, which I found really yeah. interesting. I was really worried that he wasn't going to mention Kraftwerk. <laughs> <laughs> but he did mention Kraftwerk, it was quite late on in the day. But actually, I was sort of thinking, you can't, you can't cover the history of electronic music without at least mentioning Kraftwerk, and he did. You but, know. I mean, you know, and then obviously it moved into sort of full-blown electronic music. And, and, and the the specific sort of focus was electronic dance music which yeah. i have even less knowledge and 
I'll be honest, interest in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he only just played sort of samples. But he he told it in quite an interesting way because though you know he told it again from you know I mean the, the title of the thing is the history of, mm. and he did talk about it and and put things in context and you know picked out things that that particular bit from that particular record then got sampled mm. and you know was responsible for and 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 you know and he then mentioned other bits of music of records obviously that I know and they were the, the influence for this particular track so I mean I didn't wasn't bored mm. I mean you know and and the snippets of the music that isn't my thing but that doesn't matter we're so sure that mm. you couldn't be you know you couldn't sit there and think oh god let this end because it just wasn't like that so I mean I genuinely you know found it mm. quite interesting yeah 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 you mentioned a band actually which I have forgotten um who play electronic music using 1930s instruments now I am gonna oh. I didn't know that yeah. And I am one of Sir. Oh, that, he played, now that sounded he, he, really interesting. He, played, he yeah. played a little bit, and actually, considering they're using 1930 instruments, he didn't sound that. No, he that. didn't, did it? So I'm definitely going to look that up, and I didn't know anything about that. So I mean, that was one of the things that I did learn. But yeah. no, I, I, I enjoyed him. And, and I enjoyed I mean, his. I enjoyed his. Yes. His banter with us was was good. Yeah, you know, no, he, no, people. Were, you know, he was like, you know, we. He did interact with us, yes, and yes. you know, he he said, "If you've got any questions, you know, chip in when you write." And people did ask questions. Well, they did. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. No, and I mean, there were some people who were very interested. You know, that obviously they were there mm. because they they were really into electronic and electronic dance music. I mean, it wasn't a big audience, um, and, and there are. It's not a massive room either, is it? I mean, was, no, I mean, yeah, I think he did say that tomorrow night is pretty, tomorrow, he's, he's pretty yeah, well, he's, he's well attended. More people. More people and tonight, tonight was the first, first night. night. So, and it's so early in the fringe that oh, the, the three shows that we've been to, well, yeah. actually we've been to four shows, went to a, a, a showcase, but they can't count that because that was full because it, everybody, it was free and there was a free bar. But the three ticketed shows that we've been to today, none of them were full because that's right, we're right literally day one. I mean, so. officially it starts tomorrow and mm. I think people are traveling today yeah. and they will travel for the weekend. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people about, but people, the majority of people haven't come no, yet. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, so it, it's certainly not as full as we have seen. No, when, but, but for people who, you know, have an interest in this and there will be a lot, mm. you know, Mm. You know, you enjoyed it. Oh, I did enjoy it. And yeah, I did, yeah, I mean, yeah. I enjoyed it, yeah. d you know, f to to an extent that, um, you know, I learned something yeah. from it. I mean, I wouldn't normally have gone to something like this, but I, I learned something. Yeah. No, um, I thought it was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so, when is it on? It's on... Um, it's not on for the full fringe. It's on until, I think, the, the 11th. So basically, oh, right. okay. for this week and next week, oh, yeah. uh, it finishes on the, on the Sunday the 11th, right? Yeah. Uh, it is doing the two for one days, uh, which is the 5th and 6th, and um, the ticket in price, the standard ticket in price is it's quite reasonable actually, it's six pounds, it's full ticket. So it's, it. it's on quite late, obviously, because we've just come back. So it's on at just the tonic at the mash house, and it's in just the bottle room, um, 10, 10, 10, 10, uh, every night until the 11th. Um, I think it's really, it's a, you know, it's, it's, and it's, it's a bit different. Yeah. Yeah. It is a bit different. A bit yeah. different. Yeah. yeah. How many stars? Um, it would be, a, you know, a three, a good three from me. But um, I'm going to give it a four actually. Mm, I think, I, I think, um, yeah. you know, okay. I think it's, uh, it's, it's definitely, if electronic music, or yeah, if you know, if electronic music is your thing, it's definitely go and see. But there, but you, there is still, you know, I'm well versed in, in what he was talking about, uh, and I'm quite pleased that he mentioned some of the people that he did mention, um, and it was quite nice to have a little chat with him at the end yeah, about it, yeah, and we, yeah. we swapped some some ideas. Um, I think it's worth, it's definitely worth seeing. 
Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, yeah, because it is, I mean, you could argue it's specialist. But it is focusing on a lot, because there's a whole, I mean, let's face it, electronic music is a massive yeah. genre. I mean, there's so many genre, yeah. sub-genres within yeah. it, and, he, yeah, yeah. and he's got to focus on, on, on a certain element, and he does focus on the... Um, I get you funny because you, when he mentioned um, he, he, what he what be, became Roland, I kept thinking that's not the guy from Korg, is it? And because you know, and yeah. once he'd mentioned the R one, I knew what the R one was. I knew it was going to be Roland that he was going to he was going to mention. Yeah. He did focus on on the the, the Roland TR eight oh eight and the TB three uh, machines, which is which, which is the fundamentals of what became hip hop and dance music yeah, yeah. you know so the, there's a lot of people yeah. who will see this in the program and think oh i'm really interested in that and will go along yeah. which is great yeah and they sure yeah. you should it's yeah. really good yeah. yeah 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 so well done Vinny. um okay okay mm. so we've got a full day tomorrow we've got six shows tomorrow um first one's mid-morning so we'll see you tomorrow okay see you later cheers, cheers. Bye. bye bye